Hey there folks, I've got a Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi battle for you today. I know a lot of you don't like Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi. Well, I'm not doing another marathon, this is just one battle, and now you won't see it again until battle 132 is my current plan. So anyway, yeah, it's a battle against Cowboys and Miley fan. Uh, stupid name, but he's actually a pretty cool guy. I think we met through uh, one of the Zats. Anyway, I get a Burmy as my lead. He has a Mandibuzz, and so I'm like, oh god, Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz are so hard to kill. Anyway, he goes ahead and goes for the Snarl. I just go for the Protect to see what he's got. I go for the Hidden Power here, and interestingly, it's super effective. So, I guess probably Hidden Power Ice, maybe Hidden Power Rock. I'll go for another Hidden Power. They're really not doing very much because it doesn't look like it's one of the maximum uh, you know, 70 base power Hidden Powers. Plus I am a uh, Burmy. Uh, so here I go ahead and switch out into Dustox. And here I just go ahead and see if he's going to switch out. I go for the U-turn. I think I, that might actually be my only attacking move. Uh, as he sends out Tauros. I go into Pro Will Pass here. No, wait, that's not my only attacking move at all. But anyway, um, just scout him out. I go for the Stealth Rock here on his Switch, which is great, uh, and unfortunately his Gulpin has the Mimic and gets my Stealth Rock. That is so not good for me because I've got, you know, the, I've got that Dustox who's weak to rocks, Burmese weak to rocks. I go for the Smackdown here just thinking maybe it'll do, of my attacks it's probably the one that'll do the most damage. Uh, he goes for the Flash, uh, the uh, Mud Slap and it lowers my accuracy, I miss my, uh, Flash Cannon. I'm just going to go ahead and switch out into Tangela, thinking he probably doesn't have a Poison-type move, and I'm going to resist those um, Mud Slaps. Anyway, here he goes ahead into Kadabra. I go ahead and go for the Frustration. However, my happiness is completely random, and it doesn't look like it's that uh, unhappy, because otherwise, I mean, Kadabra is really frail. So here, I'm expecting a special move, maybe even a Psychic. Uh, he goes for the Swagger. Ugh. Uh, unfortunately, my Espeon does not have Magic Bounce because this version of Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi didn't have Dream World abilities! Ah! It's stupid flaw in the programming code. Uh, random, I did random numbers between 1 and 2 rather than 1 and 3. Um, it was stupid of me. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. The point is, if you download Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi now, it will have the, uh, it will have the ability to get, um, Dream World abilities. Uh, anyway, uh, go, he, his Lanoon has Roar. Uh, Linoon is kind of an amazing Pokemon. I kind of love it. I go for the Air Cutter here, just hoping, I guess, to get the flinch? Is that what Air Cutter does? I don't actually remember. Um, and then I go for the Acrobatics just to try to do a little bit more damage. He is going to take me out. I've, oh yeah, my Dustox has Mail, by the way, so uh, if you're wondering about its item. Uh, Probabas goes for the Flash Cannon here against his Lanoon, and I do manage to get the KO before he can roar me out, so that's good. Out now is going to come Behiem. Um... Behem, I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, gonna switch out into Espeon, creating um, something, you know, just thinking it's probably a good move. He goes for the Nasty Plot, that's not gonna be good. I go for the Signal Beam, just to try to get some super effective damage against him. Uh, does actually a decent chunk. He goes for the Charge Beam, and he gets a special attack rate, so now he's at plus three. I'm like, oh god, can I get survive one more? I really hope I can survive one more. He goes for the Charge Beam, I'm like, please survive. I survive on 14. Great job, Espeon. However, it does mean that Espeon is at low enough health that I'm not gonna want to switch out on the next turn because of Stealth Rock damage. Um, Mandibuzz is now out. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Detect, see what he's going to uh, use. Goes for the Snarl. I mean, I, I guess I'm just PP stalling. There's really no point. Uh, signal Beam does next to nothing, but I really didn't have a better move to hit him with, and now my Espeon is down. I go ahead and send out Tangela. He goes ahead and goes for the Snarl. Uh, I'm taking those hits rather okay. I really wish I had Regenerator on this Tangela. It would allow me to switch out and regain a lot of health. Uh, man, Regenerator stalling in Challenge Cup would kind of be awful. Uh, go for the Power Whip here, and that brings him down pretty low, but he has the Rest! I'm like, no! No! Not Rest! Not Rest on a Mandibuzz! That is the most awesome Mandibuzz set for it to have rust, and so now I'm thinking, this thing is going to come down to a PP stall, except for not really, because I don't think I have anything that can even two hit KO, or three hit KO with Man the Buzz. Um, I go for the Ice Punch. Uh, this was actually a mistake, uh, considering I do have the Smackdown. Um, his Mana Buzz wakes up, goes for the Snarl. Uh, now I should be going... Here I go for the Smackdown. Now I should have been going for the Ice Punch to just hope to get the Freeze Hacks. That's really my only hope here of taking out his pro uh, of taking him out before he can take me out, because he does have that stupid rest. Here, again, I go for the Smackdown instead of the Ice Punch. Really, what I should be doing, since the sleep turns are going to be predictable, I should be smacking him down when he's asleep and Ice Punching him when he's not. That is the way to do this, uh, and that is just, you know, 
Alf on the slim hope that he gets free, uh, frozen. Uh, as it is, it looks like... Oh, so yeah, I get a crit here, but it's not quite enough, and he's going to wake up and rest. Completely awful. This is I'm thinking this is going to drag on forever until he runs out of rest or he takes out the rest of my team. And honestly, the more likely thing is that he's going to take out the rest of my team. Um, I guess maybe I'm trying to mix up the moves to try to balance out the PP stalls, but... I mean, he's going to win the PP war, and plus he's going to just take me out, considering he's doing damage. I have no form of recovery. Here I go for the Ice Punch, and uh, here, interestingly, he doesn't go for the rest. He goes for the Steel Wing. I guess he got sick of the stall. Thank God. I'm able to take out his Mandibuzz, uh, and now it's going to come Tauros. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to let him revenge kill me. He goes for the Retaliate. That is going, even though it's not very effective, it's going to take out my Probo Pass. I go out into my Amoongus here. Um go for the, he's, Tauros goes for the Ice Beam. Crazy that it has Ice Beam. I go for Swagger, it misses. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, even more so because my second one misses. He goes for the Rock Climb, that misses. Now, finally, my Swagger hits. Uh, this is just hilarious. And so now I'm like, come on, hit yourself in the confusion. And he does hit himself in the confusion, thank God. Interestingly, it doesn't look like it's doing that much. Uh, my Among Us is not happy at all. His Rock Climb misses again. This is just the craziest bit of hacks. I go for the Hidden Power, doesn't really do very much. He has a Custap Berry, completely useless. I go for the Hyper Beam! Get the kill with the Hyper Beam with the useless crit. That is crazy. Oh my god. Uh, now out comes Gulpin. He goes for the Mud Slap, and I'm like, oh god, this is just gonna be even more hacksy. I have a waste of turn recharging. He goes for the Mud Slap again. My accuracy is at minus two. I go for the Hyper Beam. It hits! Yeah! Unfortunately, Gulpin survived with just a little tiny bit of HP, and this is just freaking hilarious. Uh, so now what? My accuracy is at minus four. Uh, I go for the Hidden Power. It misses. He goes for the Thunder Punch. It's going to go ahead and hit me, but, okay, so yeah, here my hidden power misses again. He goes for the Thunder Punch. I'm just not wanting to switch out. Um, this is his last Pokemon after all. He goes for another Thunder Punch. Um, here I, he gets the effect spore, uh, and he is now paralyzed. So now uh, he, I'm going to miss. He's going to get fully paralyzed, and this is the craziest bit of hacks in the world. He goes ahead and Thunder Punches me, takes out my Among No, he does not take out my Among Us. My Among Us survives it too. Now his Thunder Punch is going to take out my Among Us. Hilarious. And now I'm going to send out Burmy. My, I think it might be my last Pokemon. I go for the Tackle! Tackle kill! Tackle kill to win the match! Hilarious and awesome. Hope you folks enjoyed this game. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.